Aloha, rock enthusiasts. Welcome to the Rock Record TLDR. I'm Jess, and today we're exploring Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Get ready for a Hawaiian roller coaster ride through some of Earth's youngest rocks and most active volcanoes. Let's dive in, but not too close to the lava. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is home to two of the world's most active volcanoes, Kilauea and Mauna Loa. The park covers 335,000 acres, and it's on Hawaii's Big Island, which is the youngest of the Hawaiian Islands, at less than a million years old. So how does this chain of Hawaiian Islands form? Essentially, there's a hot spot in the Earth's mantle. It's stationary, but the plate on top of it is not. As the Pacific plate moves over the hot spot, magma punches up through the crust. It's kind of like Earth's version of a geological conveyor belt. Keep moving plate, there's more islands to make. While we're talking about volcanoes and the Hawaiian Islands, we probably should talk about lava. Here we can see two distinctive types of lava. Bahoehoe is very smooth, ropey, it kind of flows like syrup. Whereas Aa looks exactly like it sounds. It's chunky, it's jagged, and it looks like it'll hurt your feet to walk on if you go barefoot. Lava here in Hawaii erupts at a toasty 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. So I wouldn't get too close or touch it. Hawaii Volcanoes National Parks is one of my favorite spots to visit. Because of the dynamic active volcanoes, every visit seems like a new adventure. There are a few must-see spots. First stop is the Chain of Craters Road if it's open. It's a 40 mile adventure through lava fields, craters, and even some ocean views. Bonus, do some hikes and look for lava trees. These are nature's creepy natural version of Pompeii. If you're a little bit short on time, you may not want to do the Chain of Craters Road. Instead, do the Crater Rim Drive. When you look at photos of Volcanoes National Park or top spots to visit, a lot of the places are along this drive, so it's easy to do in a short period of time. Here you can see steam vents, stop at Kilauea Overlook and check out the crater at its finest, or go on an underground adventure in the Thurston Lava Tube. This is a fantastic hike and one of my favorites in the park, so I highly recommend. It's super easy for everybody to do. Driving isn't the only thing to do in Volcanoes National Park. I definitely recommend trying to make a hike if you can. Some of the hikes include the Kilauea Icky Trail, where you can walk on a 1959 lava lake, the Pu'uloa Petroglyphs, where you can see ancient Hawaiian rock art, and as I mentioned, my favorite hike, the Nahuku or the Thurston Lava Tube. Kilauea is the overachiever of Volcanoes National Park. It is one of the world's most active volcanoes and erupted almost continuously from 1983 to 2018. It has covered almost 90% of its surface in lava flows within the last 1,000 years. Some even say that the name Kilauea translates to spewing or much spreading. Traditionally, Kilauea is viewed by many native Hawaiians as the home of the volcanic deity Hele Honuamea, or Pele. She is said to reside in the Halamea Umau Crater. This is a persistently active volcanic pit within the summit caldera. Much to my dismay, I missed the latest eruption in September 2024 by two days. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it, but I do in the full video, so watch that. Now, a lot of the main park centers around Kilauea, but as I mentioned, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is home to two of the most active volcanoes. You can actually head up to the world's largest active volcano, Mauna Loa. This is so cool. We are here at the observation lookout on Mauna Loa, which is 6,623 feet above sea level. Mauna Loa ex actually extends 13,681 feet above sea level. That in itself is pretty crazy, especially here on the Hawaiian Islands. It's pretty tall. However, Mauna Loa is the largest active volcano on the planet. It's taller than Mount Everest, if you're counting the underwater height, and it is massive. It makes up 51% of the Big Island. On average, it erupts every five years. Make your way up a one-way road to the trailhead for the Mauna Loa crater and the overlook. Here you can get a great view of the Kilauea side of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. So if you're thinking about visiting Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, there is some essential gear that I definitely recommend. First off, sturdy shoes. Like I said, they don't call it a-a uh -uh for no reason. 
a rain jacket. This area is actually one of the rainiest parts of the United States, and you never know when you're in for a little bit of a shower. Sunscreen, and lots of it. Melanoma isn't a great souvenir, and there are lots of places in the park that are pretty exposed. And of course a camera, because you definitely don't want to miss all of the great photo ops. Remember, take only pictures and leave only footprints. Pele's curse may or may not be real, but taking rocks is illegal and the park finds are definitely serious. This park is not only a geological gem and a beautiful way to spend a day or two or three, it also is super culturally significant in Hawaiian culture. There are a ton of creators out there that can explain this better than me, so I highly encourage you to seek out people who are more authoritative than I am on the cultural significance because the stories are really cool to hear. So are you ready to witness Earth's fiery temper tantrum up close? Hit like if you're adding this to your bucket list and let us know in the comments. Where should we explore next? From steaming vents in the earth to rivers of molten rock, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is Earth's geological highlight reel. Remember, in geology, change is the only constant, even if it takes millions of years. If you're wanting to dig deeper into Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and the geology, be sure to check out our full video on the rock record. Mahalo for watching and aloha!